Hello everyone! I think when buying a GPU, a lot of people just want a good gaming performance for their money. Well today we're taking a look at the Radeon RX 6600, which I think is one of the best budget GPUs for gamers right now. Hit the like button and let's start! This video is sponsored by SCD Key, a website where you can get keys for your Windows system. Currently, Windows 11 Pro Key sells for $31, but if you use a Tech25 discount code, you'll get 25% off. This code also works for Windows 10 Pro and Microsoft Office 2016 keys. The activation process is very straightforward. In Windows Activation Settings, click the Change button, enter the key, Next, Activate, and you're all set. So, if you want to easily activate your Windows system, I'll leave a links to SCD key website in the description below. RX 6600 has good availability, you can find it on Amazon or Newegg for $200 pretty much all the time. I got one from PowerColor for $189. In the box I have a QR code for installation guide and the GPU itself. Let's quickly go through the specs. It's a PCIe 4.0 GPU with 8GB of GDDR6 memory. This review is partially a follow-up on my previous budget PC build. So another reason I went with the PowerColor is that it's 200mm in length and it will fit in our desk mid PC. It's not a perfect fit here since the motherboard has only PCIe 3.0 but I still think it's a very reasonable choice. I removed the power supply and prepared the PCIe connector. I was able to fit the GPU inside with the right angle and secure it with the screws. Lastly, I plugged in a power connector and assembled everything back. AMD recommends a minimum 450W power supply for this car. We have a 500W here so don't need to worry about that. PC started on the first try without any issues. I then installed GPU drivers with the AMD tool and it was ready. Let's quickly go through the PC build. We have a Ryzen 5 4600G here. 6 cores, 12 threads with 4.2GHz boost clock. It has integrated Radeon Vega 7 graphics which we tested in the previous video. Then it has 16GB of RAM on 3600MHz frequency, 500GB of storage and AMD Radeon RX 6600. Let's move to the game gaming performance in 3 Mark PC scored almost 7400 points. CPU temperature stayed under 55 degrees and GPU under 70 for the most part. I'm testing everything on this 1080p 165Hz monitor. So let's jump in games. Starting with low demanding games in Valorant on high settings I see over 200 FPS all the time. The frame time graph looks great and the game runs very smoothly. In CSGO with a very high preset I see pretty stable around 150 FPS. Moving to Fortnite, on performance mode, 100% free resolution, I'm getting FPS in range from 100 to 150 depending on the scene. Overall, the game runs smoothly. I tested with a DirectX 12 mode as well and with high preset I got over 60 FPS all the time. The frame time graph is less impressive but the game still runs smoothly and the image looks a lot prettier. In the relatively new game, the finals, I see around 80 FPS most of the time with high preset native 1080p. The game is very playable, especially considering what we had without GPU. In PUBG, on high settings 1080p, I see around 90 FPS, but the game is freezing a lot in the loaded scenes. I then dropped the settings to medium and got over 100 FPS with a better frame time. But I'm still seeing micro freezes from time to time. You can see GPU load is jumping a lot, so it looks like we have some CPU bottleneck in this game. In Warzone, with ultra preset native 1080p, I'm getting very playable around 100 FPS all the time. With minimum preset but still native 1080p, I got over 120 FPS most of the time. In both cases, the frame time graph looks good and the game runs smoothly. Moving to Apex Legends, with a very high settings native 1080p, I see pretty stable FPS in range from 120 to 200 depending on the scene. So you can see RX 6600 shows a very good performance in online games. Let's move to single player. In Elden Ring, with the max settings, I see capped 60 FPS. I I sometimes get micro freezes in loaded scenes, but overall the game runs at 60 FPS all the time. I decided to test Days Gone. In the previous video, Vega 7 showed a surprisingly playable performance. And with RX 6600, a very high preset, I see over 70 FPS. The game runs smoothly and looks pretty good. Moving to a more demanding game, God of War on high settings, native Full HD, runs at smooth 70 plus FPS all the time. In Spider-Man, Miles Morales, with high preset 1080p, 
I see over 60 FPS all the time. Let's now talk about temperatures. In demanding games, especially after long gaming sessions, our system getting pretty hot, with CPU and GPU around 80 degrees. It's not the best, but it is expected in such a small case, and it's still under critical temperature. It's worth noting that by default, the GPU fans were only at the 50% max speed, so overall the system was surprisingly quiet during benchmarks. You can go into the Adrenaline Edition settings and tune the GPU fans. I raised the max speed to around 70%. With that, I got GPU under 68 degrees. The PC is now a bit louder in games, but it's not anything disturbing, so it's actually worth to raise the fan speed like that. It does not help the CPU much, I see it's still hitting 80 degrees. So if you wanna improve the CPU temperature, the most effective way will be to get a low profile CPU cooler. The one from Thermalrite or Noctua will fit. Another approach will be to free the CPU cooling openings. You can see they are currently in the bottom, so by placing PC on the side or getting a higher rubber leg, you should save around 2 degrees. Back to RX 6600, I think it's the best GPU you can buy new right now. For $200, you get a great raw gaming performance that does not rely on any downscaling feature. You still have option to use FSR, which I think will come in handy in newer demanding games. But as of now, you can see the RX 6600 can provide a very playable experience without it. Let me know what you think about RX 6600 in the comments. Don't forget to check the previous video about this DeskMid PC and I'll see you in the next video.